What you see flying in yellow in this animation is the transport of aerosols from fires in the Amazon region. Fires are an increasing threat to all ecosystems and population. Although fires can be an important part of the dynamics of many vegetation types, this is certainly not the case for tropical forests. In the Amazon, fires are used as a land management tool for clearing the biomass of deforested areas and of course, they are the forest fires. The MAP Fire project aims to contribute with the advance of the knowledge to subsidize the reduction of the risks and impacts of fires in the Amazon. So far, we have identified that Amazonian forests are vulnerable to extreme droughts, which have a long and cumulative negative impact on its functioning. We also know that during extreme droughts, the forests become more flammable. We quantified that the committed carbon emissions from forest fires can be as high as the carbon emissions from deforestation during extreme dry years. Moreover, the forests impacted by fires lose their capacity to store carbon. Even after 30 years after the fire event, these forests hold about 25% less carbon than pristine forests. In addition, the forest structure and the species composition change, affecting many ecosystem services that they provide. We estimated that fires can lead to a significant economic impact. Only in Acre State, Western Brazilian Amazon, between 2008 and 2012, fires generated an economic loss of $300 million. This can be converted in $16 million yearly, but this value can be 15 times higher during extreme dry years. Although these numbers seem high, we know that our estimation of fire impacts are underestimated. The satellite images cannot detect the entire extent of the forests impacted by fires, and the current operational products have limitations, especially for mapping burned areas in western Amazonia. Therefore, we are also developing a new algorithm to improve the burned area detection specifically for the MAP region. What to expect for the future? Here, we quantify that climate change due to the rise in the atmospheric CO2 can increase from 7 to 28% the fire probability by the end of the century. If we combine the land use change and climate change, these probabilities can increase from 10 to 70%. This means that there is a lot we can do to avoid these scenarios. We need to improve the mitigation strategies and further develop the risk management of fires in the Amazon. By combining the MAP Fire project team transdisciplinary expertise with our collaborators and stakeholders, we have developed three online platforms. The MAP Fire platform exhibits real time updated information on when and where fire is occurring in the MAP region, providing alerts to the most critical areas. Together with the Lab Gamma team from the Federal University of Acre, we also show the extent of the burned area and what's burning. The Acre Qualidade do Ar, which can be translated to Acre Air Quality Platform, is a joint initiative between scientists and the public ministry. It has been developed to track the air pollution, mostly from fires which affect the Amazon. This platform uses the novel concept of the Internet of Things with low-cost sensors connected to a global network. Here, you find information about the air quality with charts and diagrams, translating the technical data in an easy way to anyone in the society. The third platform, which will become operational by the end of this year, 
exhibits a three-month fire forecast probability for South American protected areas. This anticipated information can subsidize local planning for mitigation and preparedness for avoiding wildfires. In our transgenerational approach, we have engaged with more than 500 school students from three public schools in Nakri. They have used adapted scientific methodologies to produce materials about fire risks and its negative impacts. In order to gain scale, we are now producing a teacher's handbook and theoretical background material so this method can be replicated in schools all over the Amazon. We have also engaged with the society by participating in a weekly radio program to ensure that the information regarding fire risks and impacts reaches the rural communities, the population with the highest fire effects exposure. We are constantly looking for opportunities to provide alternatives for a fire-free Amazonia. If you want to know more or contribute with the MAPFIRE project, reach us in our social media.